now with sports, Mike. It was a very interesting week and a half. Certainly, with that lockout, makes uh, you know makes you think: Is NHL going to return this year or not? Nick, we'll get to that in a second. But Nick, across the league, fans have got to be ecstatic from what they've seen in week two. Another exciting week of play. Week two featured upsets and monster comeback. The most intriguing comeback, perhaps, might have been the play of Giants quarterback Eli Manning. After an abysmal first half of play, Manning reformed into the two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback that he's proven to be over the years. Just listen to this stat in the fourth quarter, Manning threw for 237 yards. But the bigger story was Manning led the Giants to an impressive fourth quarter comeback giving the Giants a much needed win. Big Blue cruises to victory 41-34. Michael Vick and the Eagles performed a comeback of their own. It's no surprise the NFC East is going to be very competitive at the end of the day and in the final minutes Vick and the Eagles capped off a game winning drive knocking off the Ravens 24-23. Turning into the more upsets of week two, the Arizona Cardinals pulled out of Foxborough with a surprising 2018 win. The Cowboys were upset by Seattle 27-7 following a week one victory over the defending Super Bowl champion New York Giants and a week after Robert Griffin III was dominant in his debut and Andrew Luck was mediocre in his debut loss. The tables were turned. It was Andrew Luck who passed for two touchdowns in a win and Robert Griffin III who was on the losing end of things. However, Griffin still showed signs of brilliancy and an NFL superstar in the making. Some quick scores for you viewers at home. Green Bay defeats the Bears 23-10. Carolina upsets New Orleans 35-27. Pittsburgh dominant in the closing half rallying against the Jets 27-10. In a year following the heated handshake between coaches Jim Harbaugh and Jim Swartz, the 49ers take care of the Lions containing Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson by the score of 27-19. One last note, the NHL has seen a lockout in the past decade. That was in 2004, and if one wasn't enough for fans, the NHL is flirting with another lockout. Owners and the Players Association are far apart on a deal that concerns the collective bargaining agreement. Both parties are far apart and skeptical to even work out a deal, and the season may be canceled. Just have to cross your fingers that this deal gets worked out. And with that being said, we're going to throw things back to the crew. Nick, take it away with some more news. Well, will that a lockout affect the baby penguins here at home in Wilkes-Barre? No, the AHL uh, looks to resume their season. So the AHL is going to be good to go. You guys who watch the Scram Wilkes-Barre Penguins, don't worry. You guys will be good. So that's well, all hopefully, Yeah, hopefully things will work out. Thanks, Nick.